Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to convert uppercase character into lowercase character and lowercase character into uppercase with and without using inbuilt functions. So let's get started with the video. Okay. So can you write a program to convert the lowercase character with uppercase and uppercase character into lowercase? You can see uh, the input string is Cloud Tech, where we have C and T are in uppercase. So you have to convert these two characters into lowercase and the lowercase characters into uppercase. Can you start writing the program? Yeah, perfect. So Cloud Tech uh, C first character is converted from upper to lower and vice versa. L is lower, it should be converted to upper. Perfect. Yeah, yeah so uh, let me try to write the program. So I'm going to uh, name the program or name the class as um, program three. So this will be my class where I'm going to write uh, the actual logic for for this coding i'm going to write a driver method uh, which is your main method okay so this will be the starting point of your uh, program uh, and i'm going to copy uh, the text that you gave which is cloud tech so let me declare a variable and a string string str equal to uh, cloud tech i'm going to use the exact input that you provided now uh, just to write the logic i'm going to write a new method and uh, I'm going to make this as uh, public uh, static. And this will give me the, or this will print the reverse of uh, uh, the actual input. So it is going to return void. And uh, I'm going to do convert opposite. Uh, this means if it is uppercase, it is going to make it lowercase and vice versa. Uh, so let's try to get the input, which is uh, string str. And this is uh, the method which is going to perform the actual uh, logic. So let me call this method, which is for the sake of calling it. So string str. Now let's try to write the actual logic. Mm, the first thing I'm going to do is instead of string buffer, uh, I would prefer a uh, string. I would prefer string buffer because I'm going to perform a lot of operations and string is not that effective or efficient. So let me make this as a string buffer. Okay. And I'm going to uh, declare new string buffer and I'm going to pass uh, the actual input. Yeah, so we converted from uh, string to string buffer just to make it more efficient. Uh, now, the first thing I'm going to do is string uh, length. So to get the length, uh, we use inbuilt function known as uh, str length. This gives us the length of uh, string. After getting the length, I'm going to iterate through each character one by one. And then uh, if it is uppercase, I'm going to convert to lowercase. And similarly, uh, the reverse, which is uh, lowercase to uppercase. Okay. So integer i equal to zero. i is less than length. And i one plus plus. So I am iterating through all the characters uh, one by one and changing the nature of uh, that character. Um, to do this, I'm going to uh, use the inbuilt method. So there are several inbuilt method in the character class. So I'm going to take reference of those inbuilt method. Uh, first thing is to get the character uh, at that position. So uh, character C equal to str uh, dot caret. So caret gives us uh, the character at that location from the string. So this is going to be I. Uh, when I say I, uh, so when i is equal to zero, I'll get the zeroth character, and after incrementing i, i becomes one. So this will give me the first uh, character. Okay. The uh, I'll check if character is lowercase or if it is uppercase. So if character dot is lowercase, and I'm going to pass the actual character which is c. So if it is lowercase, I'm going to uh, make it uppercase. Uh, just do that. But to make it uppercase, I am going to use um, a method known as two uppercase. So let's try to do that. String dot uh, set character at, and the index is going to be i because I am processing ith character, and I am going to change this to uppercase. So character dot to uppercase and pass the actual character which is c. Else. Else, I'm sure that the character is already in uppercase, and I'm going to uh, just copy this. And instead of two uppercase, I'm going to make it two lowercase. Okay, so this will <clears throat> this will change the string from upper uppercase to lowercase, and vice versa. So let's try to uh, print the 
uh, character. So after this, I'm going to print the actual string. So string buffer str. So let's try to print this after for loop or oh, sys out. Okay, so str. I'm going to print. Uh, let me uh, run the program. If you see, it's cloud tech. And similarly, uh, when I run it, it's uh, in upper and lowercase. Mm, yes. Okay. So here you have used uh, two lowercase and two uppercase. These are the inbuilt functions, right? So I don't want to use inbuilt functions. Can you do it without using inbuilt functions? Uh, yeah. So I can do it uh, without using inbuilt function. Uh, but for that, I need to use uh, ASCII. So ASCII in ASCII, if uh, the character is lowercase, and if I subtract 32 out of it, then it becomes uppercase. And similarly, if the character is uh, uppercase, and if I add 32, it becomes a lowercase. So let's try to use this logic. Uh, the logic is like this. Uh, if your character is uh, lowercase, and if you want to make uh, the character as uppercase, then you do C minus 32. And if your character is uppercase, and you want to make it lowercase, then you do C plus 32. So we are going to take help of this. So when it is lowercase, we have to do C minus 32. So let's uh, do that. A character uh, to upper case. And uh, we are going to convert C minus 32. Uh, as we know, uh, any operation on character uh, with integer returns integer. So I'm going to cast it to character, okay? So when I cast it to character, I need to give uh, the brackets, right, two uppercase. So I'm going to pass this. And similarly, I'm going to have character to lower case, and uh, I'm going to add 32, okay? So this will be two lower case, and uh, let's try to add to lowercase. Okay, so I'm not using inbuilt methods. I'm taking help of um, ASCII manipulation to achieve the same thing. Let me run this program. So if you see, uh, the input is cloud tech and output is this cloud tech in the reverse order. Okay, perfect. It is working as expected. So I have one question for audience that uh, what will happen if your cloud tech or a string contains a number or a punctuation mark? Okay, guys, so that's it from this video. And if you like this video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. That will motivate us to create more videos like this. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.